Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Extra Chapter Reviewers. In this video, I wanted to show you an application that I made today uh, pretty quickly, uh, just going off of a few tutorials on the internet. Uh, and I kind of want to give you the idea of an app that I want to make. Uh, so here it is down here in the bottom right corner called Slim Calculator, because that's obviously what I decided to name it. Um, it is in its very early stages, so it's not even close to being functional yet. But as a calculator, it does kind of work. So I kind of want to show you that. So like six plus six equals 12. So it can do, you know, basic operations here. There's no decimal point yet or anything like that. But the whole point of this wasn't to make, you know, a calculator clone because you already know there's a calculator app here. Now I know I am on iOS 11 and they did change up the look, which I will probably be, uh, if I get this out before iOS 11, uh, I will probably update it. Uh, later on with you know a look that looks similar to this I'm still deciding uh, on the colors if I want it to be exactly like apples or if I want to make this like blue or something something nice um, or maybe add some settings at some point so again this is just very preliminary but again it's not just a calculator this is actually going to be a secret photo vault now I know what you're thinking to yourself wow that's you're either thinking to yourself wow that's really cool or dude you know there's already a ton of those on the app store and I know that there's a ton of them on the app store. However, I don't trust them. How would I know that they're not just secretly uploading those pictures somewhere? Like some creeps just, you know, sitting there jacking off to everyone's pictures and nudes and shit. <laughs> Cause we all know that this is what you use it for. So you would store your nudes in this basically. So what you would do in theory, if you guys don't know uh, how these photo vaults work, you set a code and you type it in. And when you hit it and then hit equals or something, it'll unlock and it will go to your photo vault. So that's obviously going to take a lot of time for me uh, just because I have a full-time job and do a bunch of other uh, little businesses on the side. This is not going to be the top of my priority list, but it is something that I'm going to work on uh, because I think it would be cool. And obviously, I mean, I guess you guys can't technically trust it because you did, guys didn't make it, but I'm writing the code. I know exactly what's in it. I know that there's nothing in it that's going to be like stealing people's pictures and stuff. So uh, I'm making it for myself, uh, which is totally fine. I don't even have to publish it for anyone. Uh, but I'm thinking about, um, you know, getting a developer license. It's only like a hundred bucks a year and just publishing this. So if you guys wanted to use something that uh, you can trust for me is safe, uh, I'm not doing any weird shit because I'm not a fucking creep. Uh, then yeah, you guys can use it if you wanted. So yeah, this is just the, the preliminary thing. Again, right now it's just a calculator, but I just wanted to kind of do this as a document of my journey. Uh, I did have an app a long time ago, like seven years ago, uh, that I made a video on. If you guys want to search the channel, you can find it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Astro Trap Reviewers. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Uh, in case you didn't know, I am making apps now. Uh, I'm using Dragonfire SDK to make the apps uh, on a Windows computer. Uh, so right now, uh, the one that I am thinking about publishing is called Slim Wallpaper. Uh, just kind of a lot of glare on that icon. Uh, so, backgrounds and wallpapers uh, for behind uh, your apps if you're running uh, OS uh, 4.0 or higher and have like a third gen uh, iPod Touch or 3G or uh, iPhone 4 or whatever, uh, then you can use these behind your apps or if you're jailbroken, uh, you can use them with Winterboard. Uh, so, it tells you how to use touch to the right and the left hand side of the screen to go back and forward. Uh, so I'll just show you a couple of the different designs. Some of them are um, sort of similar. Uh, some of them aren't. I did hand make all of these. So that's Slim Wallpaper. Uh, it should be coming out pretty soon, maybe within a week. Uh, I might. There's about 20 or 25 different backgrounds in it right now. It'll be a free app for now, and uh, I'll be adding more backgrounds later uh, as well. And maybe someday in the future, like, uh, I'll have a thing set up where you guys can make your own and send them in to be put into it. Maybe something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, that's Slim Wallpaper. Uh, should be coming out soon. All right, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. All right, peace. Uh, I think it was called Slim Wallpaper or something. I do have a website as well. Uh, it's super bad. It's, like, really, really awful. Uh, it was a Wix website, and I just went crazy with the, the effects and stuff. But... That application, I was actually really proud of. I coded that completely myself uh, with like, I don't even know what I use, C Sharp or something with Dragonfire SDK. I don't know if you've ever heard of that because all I had at the time was a Windows computer, but I really wanted to make a phone app. So I got Dragonfire SDK. I think I won it uh, from some video. There was a giveaway. This was so long ago. I didn't have money to buy it because I was a, obviously a kid. And so it was like a $60 value that I got for free. I was so happy when I got it and I made this app and it had like 20 preset wallpapers that I created in GIMP or something and they actually looked really good and 
Um, so I, I, I don't know if I could revive that app, that would be something cool as well. But this is kind of a main project because this is actually usable. This is actually going to be something that people might want, uh, something that's, you know, a safe place to store your photos that isn't your photo library. So that's what I'm working on guys. Uh, just wanted to give you an update and I'll probably give more as I document the journey on my way to uh, finishing this app. If I ever do finish it, uh, you guys may remember we, me and my buddy also made a Snapchat clone, uh, that application obviously never made it off the ground. Uh, although it does work uh, to an extent, uh, the server that we were using got shut down more or less um, and it was kind of free. So <laughs> that's why we chose it and they got shut down sort of. So, I mean, we could revive it. We would have to change a lot of the code. Um, and again, it you know, for a free server, we couldn't have like hundreds of thousands of people on it. You know, we would have to start paying for that and then we'd have to charge for the app. We wanted to keep it free. So um, those are just uh, some of the apps that I've worked on in the past. Um, so this one is just, you know, I literally made this in like three hours today. Uh, just this little calculator thing. There's plenty of tutorials online that'll help you guys. If you're new to it, uh, I did this in Swift. Uh, I coded it in Swift. Uh, I'm not very familiar at all with Swift. This was my first project. Um, I have used objective C for all of the other ones. Uh, so I am dabbling in Swift as well. It's kind of fun. So enough of me rambling on, uh, this is the app. It will be out uh, hopefully soon uh, if I can find time to work on it. And I think it'll be awesome. I think you guys will like it. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.